All right, let's get started on the solution to a couple of the intro to variable challenge tasks here. Okay, the first one, when they pick up the gold, give them plus 10 to their money. Okay, so this is the player colliding with the gold. So we'll go over to our player object, add event, collides with gold, a little bit of code, money equals money plus 10. That's it. Remember, it's going to automatically draw out because we have our draw object drawing the money variable. Just a little test. Oh, before I test, let's make sure to destroy the gold. Now, to destroy the gold, we've hit something, right? So that's the other object. Instance destroy. Quick test. Perfect. Now all these code solutions are in a file, so you don't actually have to peek in the GameMaker file. You can actually just look at the code on paper if you want to see all these ones from this one here that we're doing today. Next one was give the player some life. So let's go to the player. Let's go to the create object, or sorry, the create event. Let's give one more variable. It says to start the life at 100 this time. It wants us to draw this out. So I can just add this into the draw object, draw event. The nice thing here is we can just do copy paste because we don't care too much about how this looks. And now we're drawing the life out. I'm just going to, I'm so confident that's going to work. I'm going to go on to the next part, which is when they touch the poison, drop their life by one. Okay, but don't destroy the poison. So, you could code this in poison collides with player, or you could do it in player collides with poison. I usually like to code everything as much as possible into the player. That way, in this one spot, you have your big list of events. So, I'm going to do this one in the player. Collides with poison. Don't confuse it with the potion that's blue. So, poison was green. And let's make the life go down. Remember again that I put space bars in there a lot just to make it easier to see on the video, but usually you'd probably do that. Give it a little test. And you're going to see an error here. Not an error. You're going to see something weird. The drawing. If you do copy paste the draw commands, right? Make sure you don't draw on top of each other, or you get that sort of mucky look, in case you see that happening. So, we know people do this all the time. So all you have to do, just go back to your draw. Don't keep the same variables there. Just move it off to the side of it. Okay, that'll fix that problem. When the apples are touched 25 life so player collides with apple we'll change the variable life equals life plus 25 if you want you could play a little sound here may as well just show you you're not restricted just to changing variables in the code here if we want to do a little audio play sound Let's see my sound list here. Ah, I have a pickup. Priority one. Does it loop? False. Give it a little test. There's my life. You can see sitting on the poison. The game cycles at about 30 
steps every second. And so it's redrawing itself 30 collisions a second with that potion. So you can see I'm dropping down pretty fast. Don't worry about me going negative. That's coming up in the next lesson or two. How to, how to trap that and prevent it from dropping past zero. And then if I make it to the apples. Oh, that's not very good, is it? The life is going up pretty fast. Let's destroy the apples after we touch them, right? Collides with apple. Go back. You'll probably notice here that when you make these kind of mistakes, like we just did there, it's uh, it's usually something you'll just figure out while playing the game, and then you go back and make your little change. Okay, so let's destroy the other, which was the apple. That'll work a lot better. The next one, touching the blue potion, instantly goes to 100. Okay. This is one that wasn't formally done in the video lesson, but if you're paying attention to the video lesson, it was mentioned. We'll do player collides with blue potion. This one's different than all the other parts of this challenge because in this one, you're not adding or minusing to the life. In this one, you're taking the life and just directly setting it back to 100. Okay, so it's a good example of when you might use that kind of statement. Okay, just take that variable, set yourself equal to 100. Okay, it did change, it just didn't add on or minus. Give it a little check. So the potion, rapid death, apples out. That's good. And let's say we really get weak. We need to go get our potion. And right back to 100. Poison weakens us. Right back to 100. Okay. That's perfect. Now the very last one said to code the specifically in the wall object. In the wall object, when you collide with a player, make the player's life go down by one. The wall doesn't have life. The life belongs to the player. We're coding inside of the wall purposely just to emphasize what you would do here. Right? Normally you'd want to code this in the player so it's a little easier, but just uh, to force you to use this. There's two things you can do. Here's number one. Since the variable belongs to the player, you could do this. Life equals life minus one. And that's wrong up there. That's a curly brace. That'll work. Your other option, which also works, is the wall has collided with the player. The player is the other object in this collision. So, just like you could before use the other to destroy the player, you can use other here as well. Other is the player. These two, these two are virtually identical. Okay. Probably this way reads a little bit easier to the beginner with the player. They take off life. Okay. But you could use this if you wanted and it'll work just fine. I'll take that one out though. And that's it. Those were the five modifications. Really quickly done there. Poison hurts. Apples increase. Oh, I didn't hit stopping the wall, but touching walls hurts. And the potion takes you back to 100. And really, that was it. You got stuff drawing out. You got variables changing. What we're going to learn in the next couple lessons is, okay, now you want to check these numbers and you want to do stuff. Uh, are there other ways to generate numbers other than just always plus one, minus one? And so that's coming up for the rest of level three. So uh, get excited and we'll see you in the next video.